October 2024, Capricorn. It's great to have your company. Sorry about uh, the lack of animated horoscope this month. I've had a few technical problems, so uh, I hope you'll bear with me. And I hope I'll be able to make the reading simple enough for you to visualize it. Eclipse, eclipse time. It's a solar eclipse in your 10th house, your career sector on the 3rd of October. So this has some very, very important ramifications for you. You see the strength of the sun in the 10th house is somewhat weakened by its proximity to the nodes and the interference of the light by the moon. So these planets, well, these luminaries, the sun and the moon, regulate your relationships and also your finances, shared finances. So career, relationship, in this case it may be business partnerships, and the resources you share in those businesses are all under the microscope this month during that eclipse on the 3rd. As the moon moves away, the sun will uh, retain and be able to continue in its journey of uh, directional strength, which is usually a very, very good placement of the sun for work and career outcomes. However, the eclipse does you know, knock a chink out of your armor in a way because uh, that's going to maybe create some issues with your employer. Government can do with taxation. These are all the portfolio of the sun, which is subject to the eclipse. There is also going to be a powerful full moon with the moon gaining directional strength in the fourth house on the 17th. This is the fourth house of domestics, family issues and one's mother. So when we see this directional strength, it empowers the moon. We mentioned at the outset, the moon is predominantly ruling your significant relationships. Um, the connection with the family can show a closer bonding in that sense, a function of the moon, which rules the sign of cancer in your case. And therefore you can expect during that period, 17th, 18th, the full power of the moon, its brightness and its directional strength being in the fourth house to give you a boost that will help your relationships. We see Mars, which is currently in the sign of cancer, debilitated. It rules the 11th house, which is not particularly favorable for your sun sign. It brings some uh, hardship or some health issues to your partner. And so it could be a time of reconciliation, a time where you need to surrender some of your own personal time for the well-being of your partner. The likely time of that is when the moon transits into the sixth house. It also makes its conjunction with Jupiter. Jupiter rules your twelfth house of hospitals, sickness, expenses, and then the moon moves into the marital sector on October 22nd, bringing its healing, nurturing energy to the partnership. That's going to be welcome because of that Mars. You have to be a little bit careful with the Moon-Mars combination there. That can make you impulsive in your opinions and you might actually choose to employ the preemptive attack, which is to assume that someone is about to do something. This is a heavy trigger, trigger mechanism. Be careful of that. You don't want to make assumptions before you're absolutely certain by being a little silent, a little patient, you'll circumvent a lot of those problems associated with the impulsive 
and rash moon Mars combination the moon starts to swing back into its placement uh, on the very last day of the month 31st back in the 11th house re-emphasizing again the importance of your friendships the 11th house is also your oldest siblings so this is going to well actually it finishes in the 10th house in the sign of Libra which shows us the strong emphasis there on your career employment and the importance of making the right decisions now those right decisions will be right only when you choose something which comes from the deepest part of your soul something that resonates with your heart and you feel absolutely great doing that i think is the key focus this month for you with that eclipse find out more about what's happening to you capricorn there at our site follow the links astrology.com.au do subscribe like our channel tell your friends drop me a line all that sort of stuff um and i'm hoping you've enjoyed it enough to come back another time uh for a second interview here next month at astrology.com.au thanks take care bye bye for now